Salutations my Fallout lovers, it is Maddie here today with a special Fallout 4 guide. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to get synth gorillas in your settlement. Now this may sound like a simple thing, but it's actually entirely missable, and I'm going to break down the process for you guys. But before I go any further whatsoever, this is for mainly the new guys out there that we will be talking major story spoilers for Fallout 4. So if you have not beat the game yet, then I recommend you go do that, then come back to the video later. Now I do imagine that most of my audience has completed Fallout 4, but for those of you who have not, this is your warning. Now without further ado, this is how you get synth gorillas in your settlement. And you may already have them, but you may want to know why, and I think it's just a little cool process behind it. So basically what happens is that this all comes down to which faction you pick during the main storyline. And if you side with either the Railroad, Brotherhood of Steel, or the Minutemen, you are in the clear. But if you side with the Institute, then you are not going to be accessing any Synth Gorillas. The reason for that is because when you are attacking the Institute during the main storyline with each of the three factions that I listed, at the end you will find a terminal that is Father's that'll be locked behind a novice lock, meaning that any of us can get into it. And when you're in there, you will see that you can execute an evacuation. And basically this gets rid of everything inside the Institute, allowing it a chance at life before you blow the place to complete bits. So that's kind of the explanation as to why synth gorillas are only accessible outside of factions that are not the Institute. So now the synth gorillas are out in the wild and it's now time to capture them. And the reason I'm teaching you this process is actually because there's a little glitch involved here. It's a visual glitch naturally. And so it's actually quite confusing and you'll find yourself very puzzled as to why your gorillas aren't appearing immediately. First off, you're going to need wild mute fruit to summon the gorilla in the cage. The way you get this is there's some plants actually inside Sanctuary or on a hill north of Concord. You can check both those areas out and quickly gather some wild mute fruit. The reason I'm specifying that is because it is wild, aka in the open world, and so you guys don't have to look around everywhere. This is exactly where you get a good handful, and if you need to collect even more, you can go ahead, sleep in the bed for a few days, and then go back and farm these areas once again. It does not work with just your standard mute fruit. Anyway, once you set up the cage, you're going to power it up. Make sure you power it up through a switch. Run the wire from the generator to the switch, and then from that switch to both the cages, or however many cages you set up. The reason this is important is because of the fact that for me, when I just set it up from the generator to the cage and just left it there, I slept for about three weeks in game and nothing was happening. The cages remained open and it's such a weird bug. It's a visual bug and even when I turned off the generator, it still didn't trigger the gorillas to appear. So what you want to do is just set it up to a switch and when you wait about a week or so, I'd say, just to be on the safe side, then go ahead, flip the switch and all of a sudden the door will close and reopen and there out come your gorillas. And they are easily the best animal you can have in your settlement. The reason number one is it gives you 10 defense, which is the equivalent of a death claw, which is absolutely nuts. And on top of that, it increases the happiness in your settlement. And I really appreciate Bethesda giving us stuff to increase the happiness in our settlement. So getting 100% happiness actually isn't as difficult anymore. And so this is why it's just so useful to have synth gorillas, because not only are they cool, they're natural, but on top of that, they boost the happiness and they are very good for for defensive purposes. So that is how you get synth gorillas inside your settlement. I thought it was just a cool little guide because it was missable for those of you who might be curious and actually have sided with the Institute, which I believe a lot of people have. So if you're gonna have to fire up a new save, just keep this in mind, but I wouldn't say that the synth gorillas are worth restarting an entire game for, but it's just something to keep in mind as a motivational factor if you wanna start a new game. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the synth gorillas in the comments down below. They're obviously freaking awesome people, but I wanna hear what you have to say. Be sure to follow me on Twitter like me on Facebook. We're going for 30k followers on Twitter. Help me make it there because social media influence, all that stuff. Check out SugarBomb.com, the place by Bethesda fans. For Bethesda fans, stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.